Hello everyone, it's Baldrick here, and today's episode you are watching me play some Insurgency and get some nice kill streaks, but not all the time, I do show myself fail a few times as well. Anyway, uh, this game is a PC exclusive at the moment, uh, I highly doubt it will be ported to a console unless it does very well, and it is an excellent tactical first person shooter. It is not a run and gun type of shooter. You have to really strategically plan out what you're going to do. You need to try and get behind the enemies, take them out, and then capture objectives. It's got game modes like search and destroy, and it is a great game. And I think that's what I'm going to base this commentary on. So I'll be doing a quick little review on it. Uh, the gore in this game is excellent. You actually see blood coming out of people, and you see uh, gunshots in their bodies. So I really like that. You don't see too many modern first-person shooters doing that. Apart from the teeny bit of blood you get with the occasional shooter. Anyway, another thing I really loved about this game is its uh, cheap price. It's only, I got it for $13 off Steam. It is an excellent game to have and it's an excellent game to uh, consider trying if you've never tried a tactical first person shooter. And I think it is a great first start for one. I've never really got into Counter-Strike and that's what it was a mod for. And really... I don't see how you could hate this game unless you're really, I guess, stuck on one franchise like Battlefield or COD. But if you're willing to give lots of games a go, this is definitely the game to get. The graphics, I do admit, they are a bit dated, but it is such a good game, you don't even worry about the graphics. And me, myself, I'm a bit of a graphics fanatic, but I think this game's good enough to uh, play well without good graphics anyway. Uh, what else can I say about this game? This game is made by indie developers, so if you are into indie games, I guess you can give this game a shot as well. Anyway, another thing this game does well is uh, communication. You can uh, talk by pressing keys and communi communicate with your team. And you can also type messages to your fellow teammates and message them which points you're going to take. Since this was one of my first goes, I was just sort of playing a bit run and gun style but I think I'm getting a bit better at this game now and sort of know what to do. The maps are great, uh, obviously the textures aren't the best but they're definitely very fun to play on. Uh, they're very well made, there's nice choke points and there's definitely ways to get out of those choke points if you use your brain a bit. Uh, so you do need to think about what you're doing. I'd say it's a bit like playing paintball because you really do value your life in this because Basically, once you're shot, you're dead, and you usually only get one life a game, so it is very intense. Uh, it's not always one life a game, usually it's one life around, and that still is very intense, guys. You do not want to be dying in this, and uh, I think it makes all the guns very balanced. You can get some World War Two era guns, like the MP40, and one that looks like the STG, I'm not sure if it is. I'm not the biggest uh, expert on World War II guns anyway, but you do get some old guns, you get some modern guns, like uh, the, I guess M16 is not that modern, but I guess it's considered a gun you would use in our times now. Well, not really they've replaced that gun, but still, it's, it's a nice gun to use, gives you a good feel of warfare. You are playing against terrorists, and you are on the USA side or you can play as the terrorists and usually you're just defending bombs that are going to go off I guess so it's like search and destroy. Uh, I think that's about it for my quick little review on this awesome game. Definitely go on Steam and pick it up and the good thing about this game is you don't, you don't need a high-end system to run it. I play this on Max Graphics easily because uh, I've got a gaming PC but it's also available for Mac OS X and PC so that is very good that the developers have included Mac OS X for those Mac gamers out there. There's not too many of them but there are some. Anyway guys, thanks for watching this quick little review. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel for more Insurgency gameplay. Thanks for watching guys, see you later.